With Power BI Goals, you can create scorecards that help you to track your goals based on different data. Now let's have a look how we could create a scorecard based on Dynamics 365 Finance and Supply Chain data. I have here a demo implementation from Dynamics 365. You see here that is uh, the German demo company that we have here, Contoso Entertainment Germany. And what we're going to do is to create a scorecard for uh, sales goals in order to track uh, the line amount and the quantity that we have sold to our customers. In general, I would recommend to use an export to a SQL database, so bring your own database and no longer to use uh, OData because Microsoft is throttling OData access and uh, for a scorecard where you keep track of long-term goals, you don't need uh, live data from Dynamics. So I would recommend to use a SQL database. I have already created here a SQL database in my environment called uh, Webcast Demo 1 running on a virtual machine uh, here on a SQL virtual machine for Webcast Demo 1. Now the first thing you want to do is uh, from the data management you go to export to your database and I've already created here this link. In my case this is called SQL, it has a connection string and when you click on validate it is trying to connect to the database. I have chosen here a DTU based license with a basic tier because for this simple example I don't need uh, very much power performance, I don't need any premium features like column store index, I'm using it only as a staging table. If you're running more complex queries against the SQL database, you want to go of course for a premium or at least a standard tier. But for me, the basic tier is fine. So what I want to do is to export my sales invoice lines to the SQL database and to do so I click here on data entities and let's check the sales order lines. So I'm going here for the sales order lines v2 and what we have to do is to publish this entity structure to the SQL database. This can be done by clicking here on publish and this will create a schema in the database. When you do this, you might run into a warning, like in my uh, version here, that the product version ID is not available. So this will create an error when I try to publish it. So I go back to the list of entities and modify target mapping. And I'm going for the product version ID. And I'm going to remove it. And clear the filter here. And save it. So, this is gone. And now back I can publish this entity to my database. Now this takes a few seconds. And Dynamics will create a table in my SQL database that contains all the fields that are part of this entity. It says uh, successfully published. We can check this. I'm going here to my Azure portal to the SQL database and from the SQL database I'm here on the server. Of course I want to the SQL database, not to the server. Here from the query editor, I'm going to log into my database. And this will give you a view on the database and the tables. And as you can see, here is uh, the table created by Dynamics that contains all the fields. But it's empty because we did not publish anything. So when I say select all from this table and I run this query, it says okay, no row affected because there's no data in it. So the next step is to uh, export data 
to this table. I'm going back to Dynamics and I'm going to create an export project. So from the data management here I'm going to export and create a new export project, call it PIVX and I'm going to add an entity. This is the sales water lines v2 target format is SQL this is a SQL connection that we have shown earlier and I'm going to make a full, pu pu a full push and I'm using old fields If you need uh, more entities, uh, you can do the same. So first you have to publish the entity and afterwards create an export project. So for example, if you need the uh, sales order headers, the customers, addresses, items, products, whatever you need. But in my simple case here, I'm going just to publish the lines. I'm going to save it. Now in real you would of course go for a recurring job, so you would think about how and when shall I publish this data to the SQL database, every hour, every day, in the night. But for this simple example I'm going for a simple export, so I'm just exporting it once. And it says OK, so the job is scheduled, again this may take a few seconds. And what is happening now is that uh, this entity is used and the data is exported to the SQL database. Like that, in real life you would create an export project with all the entities you need and you would go for a recurring export job that refreshes the data in a way you like it or you need it uh, depending on your business requirements. When I click here on refresh, it says OK, uh, this is done and uh, we have 1732 lines exported. Let's go back to the SQL Server in Azure. And when I'm going to run this here, this will take a few seconds because now we have data in our SQL database and you can see it is uh, working. We have all these fields here. Of course, what I would recommend, um, think about what you really need for your data and export what you need. Uh, don't push garbage here out to the SQL. But for this demo, uh, this does, I don't care about this. But like I said, in real life, think about what you need and publish what you need. Now let's check the line amount and the quantity. So if I'm estimated in the line amount, I can sum it up using some line amount. And here is the sum of the line amount. And I can also go for the quantity. And here is the quantity of items that have been ordered. Now the next step would be to create a Power BI scorecard based on this information. To connect from Power BI directly to this uh, data, what I need is a connection string, so I'm going back to the server here not to the server, to the database and here are the connection strings and I'm going to copy this connection string here if you are working uh, on a local machine uh, make sure on the server that the firewall is not blocking your local IP address so I'm going here to Power BI and from data I'm going for SQL data the SQL Server is what I have copied from uh, the configuration 
and I'm going for import so this means Power BI is loading the data into Power BI and I have a SQL user to authenticate and from my database you see this is a series order data that we have exported from Dynamics 365 and I'm going to load this data, I'm not going for a transformation but only to load the data. So in order that we can create a Power BI goal based on our data we have to create a report and this report will be very simple, I'm going here for uh, two values, so I'm using a card here, one for the quantity and one for the line amount. So from sales order line details, I'm using the line amount here and use a sum for aggregation and I'm using a second card visual for the quantity, so the ordered sales quantity, this is the quantity, this is the line amount. Now we could also check here on the data for the line amount, this is somewhere here, item, line amount and we can format it to look like a currency. So very nice. This is my report. This will be the uh, database for my scorecard. So next I'm going to save and publish this into my workspace. Now I'm save it here directly on my desktop. And I'm going to publish it into my workspace. In real life you would publish it to another workspace for your department or your company, whatever. But I'm fine to publish it here to my personal workspace. So this has been published and we can go back to the browser. So back here in Power BI in my personal workspace I have here now this very fine report and I'm going to create now a scorecard. So back to my workspace from a new scorecard and I call it uh, sales scorecard there's no sensitivity, I don't need this here and I'm using it in my workspace. So we have here now this uh, square card with an empty score and I'm going here for sales amount and I can here define the current and the final target and my actual target uh, can be used by connect to data. This will now create here a list of reports that you can use. So I'm using my scorecard report here and I have to select this visual. So 49 million, this is my data and I'm connect co connecting my scorecard to this value. And let's say it's a Target value is I don't know, 60 million. So a little bit to do here and the due date is end of the year for example. And here you can define a status. This can be done by setting up rules. So this is uh, very simple. It says if uh, the value is lower, equal, greater than another value, uh, it should display a certain state. So we can say if uh, 
the value here is greater than let's say 30 million one two three one two three thirty million then it should be uh, at risk I'm going to save it and it says okay we are above the 30 million uh, we did not reach uh, this year so we are at risk you can refine this by saying okay this is above 30 or it is under 50 or we uh, have reached 60 million whatever you want and the same goes with the sales quantity now I'm connecting again to my scorecard and I have here this ordered sales quantity 124,000 and my target value is let's say 125,000 and again I can set here the state so if the value is greater than or let's say equals or is great e greater than or equals to the 155,000 then it is completed. Save. And now we have here these two uh, goals and it is based on the Dynamics 365 data.